one thing that I got that I always like to get is I like to get a nice tablecloth. I just throw that on the table. It makes for a very easy cleanup and then I don't have to worry about my table. Um, you can also use craft paper and just throw that down. And then I got a bunch of different frames. We're gonna be doing faux glass painting. So it's like fake glass painting, but it turns out really cool. Um, so I just bought a whole bunch of frames only because I thought I'd show you some of the variety. So these are just eight by 10 frames. And then I got some, a couple five by sevens, some four by sixes. And I even got, this is a glass trivet. So if you want it, you'd end up doing it on the backside. So you'd have to do it in reverse, but you could actually end up doing a glass trivet if you wanted to. They have those at the dollar store. I got uh, one for each of my daughters. I got a, some paint brushes. I got all these at the dollar store. And they have this craft glue that is clear. And this, this is craft glue that I got from the dollar store, um, I don't know, I think last year, but this is also clear. I kind of like these because it's got this nice um, top on it that'll be nice for using for applying. Um, they also have this kind of glue, which I believe dries clear, so you can use that too. And then paint. Um, I like acrylic paint, but some of this is tempera paint, and um, I, I imagine it'll work about the same because you're really just tinting the glue. Um, so I got, you know, basic colors. Definitely you want to have a white and a black. And then, you know, you want your basic Colors, if you're really trying to be on a budget, you could just get your basic three colors, uh, your primary colors, your red, yellow, and blue, and then mix colors to make them. Otherwise, you know, you could go to the craft store um, and get some of your little acrylic paints like these. These are about a buck a piece. So it really is up to you what you wanna do with your budget and how much you have to spend. Um, but I usually kind of have those laying around my house because we do lots of crafts here. So I just have kind of a, a big stock of paint in my home. Um, but anyway, those are your basic supplies that you'll need for this craft. So glue, preferably clear glue or anything that dries clear, uh, paint, paint brushes, and frames. And then I like to get a tablecloth just for easy cleanup. So, those are your supplies. Okay, so we're all set up. And what we have done is each of my girls have selected their frame. And what we actually did was we printed out some pictures, which helps. Um, now, if you have someone who is maybe a little bit more advanced and they want to do their own free form and they can draw something on there all by themselves that is totally fine otherwise what we did was like I went on the computer and I just found what I did was I went into Google and I did a search and I did free printable coloring pages and then I typed something in so free printable coloring pages um, sunset or something like that and this one I did Found like this one, like butterfly sunset. Um, this is that little cutie guy from Avengers, whatever his name is. What's that little guy's name? Groot. Groot. Um, who I thought is just so cute. You want the lines, obviously you want to find a picture that is really simple. You, you do not want a lot of lines because the glue will just kind of glomp together and it looks weird. So you want the fewest lines possible, something very simple. Um, here's a little Captain America. I think they call them Funko Pop Captain America. Um, so these are just ones with just really basic lines. There are not very many lines. And even if you print this one, you don't even have to put on all the lines if you don't want to. But you would print this off, cut it out. And then as you can see with my girls, they have, we've glued it. On the back of the, we just took the glass out of the frame. 
and then we glued that piece of paper, not glued, sorry, we just put the, that picture on the back side of the glass and then we taped that down just onto a piece of cardboard so that we could move it around. So there's Olivia and then I'll tell you about the glue in just a second. So there's Lucy's, she's doing a butterfly. All right, so what I'll tell you about the glue, so in preparation to make the glue, I had this one um, from the last time I did this project with my girls. So can I borrow this for a second, huh? Thanks. So this was my Elmer's glue. It's just school glue. And what I did was I emptied, I don't know, probably about three, four, uh, two, maybe a third of it out. And then I added um, black acrylic paint to it. And I just mixed it really good. Like, I think maybe I stuck a popsicle stick in there and I just mixed it and mixed it and mixed it and mixed it really, really, really well. Just kept mixing and mixing until it was just nicely mixed. So this is not purchased black glue. This is black glue that I added acrylic glue to, or acrylic paint to. So as you can see, like it just, now she can use it as like an applicator. So that's where this came from. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> So, but you can also do that to these bottles that I showed you earlier that I purchased. So you can just empty some of this glue out and then add the black acrylic paint and then mix it up real good. And then this has got a nice applicator on it, a nice tip. So then they can use this to trace the lines. So, and now, as you can see, they are done with their graphics. So what we're gonna do now is now it's time to dry. So these do take a little while. My recommendation is to um, put them like in front of a fan. Also, when they're doing the lines, a tip, encourage uh, them to make thin lines, like not use a big globs of glue because it takes much longer to dry. Um, and also then of course the lines just run together. So just real thin, lines really do the trick. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in front of a fan. We're gonna let them dry for a little while. I don't know, they maybe take like an hour. So in the meantime, I don't know, you could read a book, make pizza, make cookies, I don't know, but find a little something to do with your match in the meantime, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so at this point, the black glue is dry on our projects, so they have started making the rest of the stained glass, the painting parts. So one of the things that I did glue now, or I did not mention before, we have these palettes at home. They do have these at the dollar store, um, but you don't have to have an actual palette. You could just use like. Um, really the inside of a, or the top of a plastic container, like a cottage cheese or container, a or a, you could use a paper towel, you could paper use plate. a paper plate, whatever you want to use. You don't have to have an actual palette. Um, so anyway, you want to have something for mixing paint colors. So we have those. Um, we have some old cups for, uh, that we have water in for when you want to clean off brushes. We grab some paper towel. Um, I also grabbed some Q-tips, so like if they should get outside the lines at all or cover up some of their black lines, they could just dip it in water and then kind of get it off the black lines a little bit. Um, and then, so now making the colors. So they take their clear glue. This was the stuff I had mentioned before. It's just that clear craft glue. And you'd put a little bit in on your palette um, you don't really need much, really. You want more paint than glue because if there's too much glue, it's really diluted and it's, um, it's pretty clear. So you can kind of experiment and see what works best. So put a little bit of glue in there and then you just add some paint and mix until you find the right color that you like and then start filling in your patterns. I can show you how my girls are doing on theirs. So 
Lucy, here's Lucy's butterfly. Can you lift up your hand for a second? So there's Lucy's beautiful butterfly. So she's working on hers. And then this is Olivia's baby Yoda. So those are the ones that we have going so far. And here's the cat. Of course, he can't be too far away. Um, so yeah, so that's our project so far. And, and he's not a painting. <laughs> no, he's not a painting. Um, so we will check back in in a minute when we have them all the finished products. And we're back. Time for our finished products. So as you can see, this is actually the one that I did later on. Um, this is Lucy's butterfly. And this is Olivia's baby Yoda. So I'll show you what we did. We cleaned up the glass when it was done. And we ended up using a little hot glue gun. So if you have a hot glue gun, that is really ideal because all we did was just kind of put the glass in there um, and we put just a dot of glue in each corner. And that is just enough to hold it in. So that is all we did um, for those. We just put a little dot of glue in each. Um, you could also try super glue. That'll probably hold it in there as well. One thing we also noticed was that this, like for mine, for example, this was actually the side I, I actually painted and which looked okay, looked kind of nice. And then we realized once we were done painting them and they were dry and then we flipped them over, that this side actually looked a lot cooler. So that was the side that we actually put in the, the frame. So, and you can see we did not put the back on. This is so that they could be hung on the wall and kind of be more like stained glass. So anyway, so then if you want to hang them, um, you could even take the back side um, and you could even rip these off uh, of the back of the frame thing. And you could hot glue those on the top of the back um, if you want to hang them. Otherwise, sometimes you can get those 3M strips too. I like to use those. They're kind of like Velcro strips. Um, those make for easy hanging of things on walls. So you could use those too. Otherwise, you can just, you know, set it up against a wall or whatever. Um, Olivia will probably put hers on her desk and just kind of set it, just kind of set it like that. So um, there is our finished product. Hope you have fun.